Dear viewers, welcome back to our channel. Today, we'll discuss 18th shloka of Isha Upanishad. You can recite the shloka with me. Agne nae shupatharae asman vishwani deva vayunani vidva yodhasmat juhuran meno Vuishtam te namoktim videma. Translation in English O oh, Fire God, knowing all our good deeds, lead us to the good path for the enjoyment of results of deeds and remove from us all the crooked sins. We offer you many words of salutation. Let me tell you a short story from the Mahabharata. After the great Kurukshetra war ended, Yudhishthira became the king to the throne of Hastinapur. After serving the years to the people of Hastinapur, Pandavas renounced their kingdom and began their journey to heaven from the Himalayas. During their journey, a dog accompanied them. While ascending the Himalayas, Draupadi became the first one to fall, followed by Shahadeva, Nakula, Arjuna and Bhima due to various sins committed during their lifetime. Only Yudhishthira and the dog continued on their journey. As the dog and Yudhishthira climb up the mountain, Lord Indra appears and asks Yudhishthira to come to heaven with him. Yudhishthira insisted on taking the dog along with them. Lord Indra disapproved of the request. But Yudhishthira remained adamant. The dog was Dharma, who was satisfied with Yudhishthira's virtues and appreciated him. Eventually, he entered Indra's chariot to heaven. Before you understand this sloka, we recommend you to watch previous sloka to know what we should do before death and other slokas if you miss them. Links to those videos are given at the top right corner of the screen. This shloka again seems to be for a dying person because after death our dead bodies go into fire. Hence the person is appealing to fire God to remember good karmas and forget all sins and promote him or her to heaven for the enjoyment of results of good deeds. Heaven is a chocolate for the ignorant readers to make them moral, honest, law-abiding, rule-following citizens in a society. Otherwise, defining good or bad karma and virtue or sin is not an easy task. The topic is very subjective and relative to subject, place, time, space, situation, etc. As an example, eating a potato is a sin for some people, but for other people it's eating for survival and not considered as sin. Same goes with meat. Eating chicken was sin 30-40 years back in many places in India, but nowadays it is not considered as sin. Many social norms were treated as virtue a few years back, but nowadays they are treated as sin. As an example, polygamous marriages were a norm in society, but today it is considered a sin. Killing a person is considered a sin, but killing an enemy is virtue. Hence, a knowledgeable person doesn't differentiate between virtue and sin. The person says oneness in both and doesn't care about heaven or hell. The person doesn't care about the result of the actions. His or her actions are unattached and without any desire. Like he or she shares the knowledge with others without thinking about name and fame. While living this life, there will be some actions which can't be sin free or some actions need desire. The person is well aware of those and doesn't get disturbed. Like wearing a tiny cloth is also a desire and a sin because 
that cloth was made on the dead bodies of thousands of insects. So, the jnani experiences oneness in everything. For him or her, good deeds are meditation, gaining knowledge and giving knowledge to others, any service without any desire, devotion, etc. Anything other than those are not considered as good karma. They are karma and can be considered as sin in some situations. And in this shloka, Rishi is talking about those as sin. Without second thought, good karma will make that person more aware and liberated, even if he or she doesn't request it. And the sins will be ignored. As an example, when we talk about Ramakrishna Paramahamsa, can we imagine any bad karma or sin that was caused by him? As a human being, he was not sin free, but they became invisible or ignored in front of his dazzling good karma, similar to the sunlight that has many colors in it, but we can experience white light only. But for a common ignorant person, I would like to advise you, be a good human being, be a law-abiding citizen for your nation, cultivate moral values into your character, try to be ethical in all your businesses. Buddha's noble eightfold path is a good way to start. You don't have to be religious for that. All the actions have certain definite results. Some of the results are instant and some take time. But all results will be experienced in this universe only. You may see it during your lifetime or you may miss it. As an example, you slap someone. The result will be instant. Either the person will cry or slap you back or say some bad words to you or you continue to keep yourself in a loop of thought to analyze yourself whether it was right or wrong action. Let me give you another example. You studied well for two years. You could get the result after appearing for an exam and maybe the knowledge will be utilized in years to come. And in the last example, you did research in your whole lifetime and you did not get any recognition when you were living. Maybe 40 years after your death, your research is used to create a new technology. This is how karma works. It doesn't work like people say that you will get heaven or hell after your death based on your karma or your next life will be comfortable or struggling based on your karma of this life. These stories are told to make you a good human being and nothing else. So read them and get inspiration from them. But be cautious. Don't get brainwashed by any Babaji or Mataji or Molana in the name of karma or heaven and hell or life after death or rebirth of soul etc. You would become their toys to make their own business or mission successful. One such deadly example is innocent children brainwashed to become terrorists or suicide bomber in the name of jihad because someone promised them and made them visualize the life after death is full of enjoyment, sex with beautiful angels, etc. In the 21st century, most countries have a good legal system and constitutions. Even if you just follow them, you will not do any bad karma. And if you really want to learn more and practice good karma, then get Upanishads, Srimad Bhagavad Gita, other scriptures. Read them and practice any or all yogas, knowledge, karma, meditation, devotion. Then you will find heaven on this earth only and in this birth only. You don't have to die to see heaven or get the results of your karma in the next life. 
neither of them exists. Dear viewers, be with us in this journey of Universal Vedanta movement. Do not forget to share this video with your friends and families. Like the video, subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. Press the bell icon so that as and when any new session or video is released, you will get notified. If you have any question or want to share your thoughts, use the comment section for that. You may want to follow us on WhatsApp channel, Facebook, Instagram, X and Co. Links and QR codes are given on the screen. Thank you and have a great day. We'll see you soon in the next video.